all right uh hello guys so i kind of let this battlefield 5 thing and all the you know all the talk and everything just kind of go away uh i did some videos and then i just started ignoring everything about it um i had made my mind up i was not gonna buy this game and quite frankly i'm still not gonna buy it uh, i might play the beta just to see what it's like but you know that is the most um it has it has to be some uh very amazing gameplay for me to change my mind and actually buy it but you know uh i i i tried to get away from this but i couldn't i just see so many people defending this and i don't think it's correct um mainly because of the response that you know they gave out which was basically a big fuck you but you know that's how things go i see people using the same you know arguments of it's just a game and to be honest it's not just a game because if I made a game about Hitler torturing children, torturing babies, would it be okay just because it's a game? No. It's not just a game, okay? Games have a very powerful message. They, they're, they're very powerful. So, you know, if a kid plays this game and sees so many women on the battlefield, you know in their minds they're gonna start to think that there were a lot of women in the battlefield and that is not true um, like I said yes Soviet women were in the in the um, in the military uh, they were usually snipers uh, the French had the resistance they had women in there but it was not the military they were fighting against German occupation and that is very different than a woman in the front lines uh, so many people think that it's just a game and that is very incorrect uh, take uh, Fortnite for example you know it is just a game right however you see all these kids dancing uh, so yeah it's not just a game because it is very influential and kids are easily influenced that is why you know COD is making such vast amounts of money with you know children just buying supply drops because they see their favorite youtuber opening supply drops um, so yes it is very influential also I want to talk about this because it does happen okay when I went to go get a new phone um, I was waiting in and in, in, I guess in, in line because they were going to activate my phone uh, and they didn't have the model so I was kind of waiting for them to bring it to the store from another store so you know uh, and as I was waiting there I, I was sitting down and I saw a couple come in a grown male adult and a grown female adult and with them they had a child of I would say about six seven years old I'm not even sure but the point is that while they were waiting for the phone or whatever it is that they were doing that kid came in and started dancing the fortnite you know the little towel or floss i'm not even sure what it's called because i haven't played fortnite in a long time but he started doing that dance since he came in all the way till i left okay they were there for longer than i was but when i left he was still dancing okay and that is that is sending me a strong message that yes games do influence people and 
whether you like it or not, it, it influences them in real life. That is not to say that a kid will go shoot up a school because he got Master Prestige and COD. It is not the same thing, but you know, there is influence in there. Also, I want to touch on this thing that that employee said that you know his 13 year old daughter told him that you know she understand and that he said yes it's not okay I want to touch on that because I want you to remember okay I want you to remember when people with degrees made games rather than 13 year old children I remember a time when adults with degrees actually made the games instead of the other way around but I mean whatever right I don't know if she gets paid for her brilliant ideas another argument that I see people point out is that it's not a history book it's just like I said it's just a game so it's not a history book and to that I say that is true but why even bother researching locations if you're not going to hold up a history game you know why use World War II weapons in this game why don't you let me use an F2000 that is an assault rifle for those of you who don't know why model vehicles like they were back in World War II? Why can't I have a, a jet? Uh, you know, or, well, I'm not even good with with uh, airplane names or how they look, but you know what I mean. Why can't I have a modern vehicle? That's not a history book, right? That's what they said. And what really pissed me off out of all of this dumb shit is that they caught fans ignorant and uneducated. When in reality it's kind of ironic that the, the, the 13 year old child didn't know or I guess his father doesn't want to tell her that there weren't women out there in the front lines as, as, as she will be able to see in a 17 plus game that she's not even supposed to be playing because she's 13 so his father is advocating for ignorance and staying uneducated because that's what he's doing to that child he's not educating that child another little comments that I, that I saw and I like this one because this one hits it right on the, the head of the, the nail or whatever the, the phrase is. I saw someone say DICE has selective hearing. And that is true. The first time I read it I, I laughed because it is true. They listen to what they want to listen to and not what they should be listening to. I see, um, for example, they won't listen to fans who are against the inaccuracy of the portrayal of World War II, but they will listen to people who want Battle Royale. But apparently they hear us, right? You know something interesting? They said that they want to include. It's all about inclusivity. That's what they said. But in that case, then I want to be the bear that actually fought in World War II. If you didn't know this, there was a bear who was a cub and he was saved and 
if you Google World War II bear, you'll find him. He was actually in the front lines. You know, he um, obviously he wasn't shooting a gun, but he would carry ammunition from one point to another, and he was actually in battle. Battle of Monte Cassino in Italy, 1944. So he was actually in battle, okay? So if they want to talk about inclusivity, then I want that bear to be included. Because believe it or not, he was very valuable. And he should be respected, and I want him to be in Battlefield 5. I don't I don't care if there's backlash. I want to be that bear. If they want inclusivity, they better own up to their own word because I want to be that bear. I saw a um a man who you know said that uh, well he was using the same arguments. I'm sure I'm sure you you've heard many of them. But he was saying something about Battlefield 1942 that the DLC had jetpacks, right? Now, I didn't play Battlefield 1942. Uh, quite frankly, I was still a child. So, he said that in that game, the DLC had jetpacks, right? And so, they said that that is historically inaccurate but people didn't have a problem with it and um, to be honest yes people didn't have a problem with it because it did happen Hitler was testing prototypes for jetpacks whether you know this or not it is history and I'm sure if you look it up you'll find it I also saw um, Westy I'm, I'm sure you heard of Westy it's a, he's a DICE employee who makes YouTube videos anyways he made a comment about spending lots of money and customization And that's exactly what 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 dice and da wants they want you to spend lots of money on customization so you know in a way he was not making it sound bad but that's exactly what what it is and I want everybody to realize that that is exactly what it is and uh, my last point because this video is way too long already is that Soderlund talks about you know this plausible scenario for women and um, that's fine and dandy right but since Hitler had a jetpack prototype implement it to the Battlefield 5 game because guess what it's a Plausible. It's a plausible scenario for Hitler to have jetpacks. I better see Battlefield 5 have jetpacks and the bear. I want to play as a bear. Make him the, um, I don't know, the support class. Make him a bear. And jetpacks. I want to see jetpacks in that game too. Now, that is it for me. And I will see you all next time. If you have a problem with what I have said so far, please feel free to dislike, comment, and um, I don't know. Oh baby, a triple!